fits. I now have two pages of this strange drawing, but it doesn't look any different than it did before. The two pages of symbols form a picture when put together. It's similar to the wall paintings in the cave. A wall painted by children. A lion is circled in the drawings. The lion in the diary is circled. I wonder if the key fragment is here. Hey, the stomach is just a stone that's been placed into the wall. And there it is, the key fragment. You lot, I've got it. Come here. Theodorus, let me have a look at the key fragment. Why? What are you planning to do with it? Just show me. I'm not going to eat it. I just wanted to have a look at it. Hmm, I imagined it very differently. Not so... Crystal-like? Yes, I wonder what the locket fits is going to look like. I'm sure I've seen a crystal thing like this before. Really? Where? In the thieves hideaway. It was in the middle of the table with the card game as a stake. With the smugglers and thieves in Tripoli? Well, let's go and get it then. We shouldn't leave them lying here like this. It's not good. What do you mean? The dead. They are our fellow countrymen, perhaps even our relatives. We should bury them. You're right. We'll bury them. Hello, Raffi. Hey, Theodorus, what's the plan? I can't enter the city. Can't you talk to your comrades? They should send someone to meet us outside the gates. And what then? They won't just give us the fragment. But if I explain our situation, then I'm sure they'll help us. Don't you think? We're talking about crooks here, not Samaritans. They don't do anything unless there's something in it for them. If we want to get the fragment from them... We have to offer them something in return. I get it. Hey, Raffi. Would this perhaps be something for your colleague? Let me see. That is one hell of a ruby. Where did you get that from? From one of the skeletons in the bedroom in the cave. From which bedroom? How's that? I had a good look around there myself. Oh, well, whatever. This necklace is definitely precious enough to get the boys out of town. Let me know when we're near Tripoli and you want to talk to them. Well, I'm ready, Raffi. Can you let your people know? I will do. Wait here. This is Rangar, our leader. I've already told him about the ruby. It's as big as a quail's egg? Um, to be honest, I don't know anything about bird eggs. Show me it. And what about the piece of crystal? I want to see that too. Why do you want it, hmm? The ruby is worth a lot more. I'm not interested in its material value. What are you interested in, then? Does it belong to a bigger crystal? If so, then perhaps it is worth more than the ruby. No, it's, um... It's an heirloom, long lost and finally found again. Exactly. 
Now, have a look at the necklace. You'll see that I wasn't lying about how good it is. A quail's egg in the hand is better than a crystal splinter in the bush. Hmm. This ruby really is seriously big. I've never seen one this big before. Are you sure it's even a ruby? What else could it be? All right, then. If you don't want the necklace, I'll find another buyer. Well, if you insist, uh, here you go. Rafi, take care. Have a good night, Ranga. <laughs> There is even a display space. Must be the Bedouin stone craftwork, painted colourfully. A crate of bagged salt. The Bedouin are well known for trading salt. Uncle Tabit always brought some back from his trips and insisted on only this salt on his food. Damn, I miss him. Greetings. Take your time to look at everything. My goods are of the finest quality. These stones that you have here, what exactly do they represent? They're reproductions of the holy crystal that is revered by our tribe. This crystal that you revere, can I see it? You mean the original? That's not possible. It's kept in the care of our priestess and is only accessible to my people themselves or to people chosen by us. Aha. And what are the criteria you choose by? It's a question of trust. There are no criteria for that. I'm taking it that your trust in me isn't particularly high. You are a Spanish-speaking customer who hasn't bought anything yet. I don't think we can talk about trust at all at this point. Adios. May the sun be with you. And how might things be with your trust levels if you saw what I've got here with me? But how can that be? The Holy Crystal! How did you come by that? It came from heaven. Where else? It fell right into my hands and then led me here. Exactly as happened with our priestess. You must be an important man back where you come from. Um, correct. And it is in that function that I must speak with your priestess. She will most certainly be very pleased. I can describe the route you must follow to find her. You must go alone. No one else but you. Very well. Can you please show me the way on the map? Adios. May the sun be with you. We'll head back to the watering point. A key fragment. Hands off! The holy shard may not be touched. Greetings, Honourable Priestess. What leads you to me? I'd love to know why that piece of crystal is lying on the altar there. Because it's holy, and I would advise you not to get too close to it. Why not? Will I become cursed or spontaneously combust? It's no laughing matter. Fire is holy to us. To whom? You or the Bedouins? My people call themselves the people of the sun. I don't care. I'm really only interested in the piece of crystal. What do you want for it? I'll pay any price. The thought alone is perverse. That holy object is not for sale. Not in any circumstance. You have an unusual hair colour. And what's that supposed to mean? Would you like me to put you in touch with my barber? If he's in Zazura, why not? I'd love to call in there. Without the complete key, you will never get there. It was broken to destroy all hope of return. And most of the people among whom it was divided died long ago. So you can stop running around here telling your fairy tales. I know where the crystal really comes from, and you know it too. What are you getting at? It comes from Zezura, and you also know that there are more of them. That doesn't alter the fact that it came from the gods themselves. Maybe, but it's definitely not here to be worshipped. 
It's part of a greater whole to which it belongs. This piece belongs to the people of the sun and no one else. The other eleven parts are no concern of ours. Eleven parts, you say? Then there are twelve in total. I thought you would know that. Don't you know anything at all? The question is more, what do your people know? How would they react if they heard you had brought the crystal from Zazura? Be my guest. The people here have a great fear of the city of no return. When they learn that I am from there, the awe in which they already hold me will grow immeasurably. The holy crystal stays where it is. These twelve key fragments, what do you know about them? You surely don't think that I'd tell you anything about them, do you? Why not? Isn't it in your interest to return to Zazura one day? Why should I believe in it, though? Why should I long for something my whole life, somewhere I'll never set foot in? All of those who have done that are dead. I, however, am alive, like a queen, and that's how it should stay. Adios. May the spirits guide you ever further into the desert. Never to return, right? I'll leave that to the spirits. He belongs to the Bedouin people, although Uncle Tabit used to say that the Bedouin as such don't exist. But there are lots of different nomadic groups. They call themselves the Free, or Sons of the Wind and Sun, or the People of the Sun. Hello, can I ask you something? Ask away, stranger. It's a hard life in the desert, isn't it? The only one worth living. The crystal on the altar, why is it worshipped? Why do you ask? Because it comes from the sun, of course. Of course. And how did it get here? How? It fell from the sky. Right on top of the priestess, I take it? Yes, and it bleached her eyes and her hair. It was so bright. And her wits? It has granted her great power over the fire. Since she has been here, it only flares up with her permission. So, does that mean that every time you want to roast a piece of meat, the priestess has to bless it? Quite right. As a thanks for her goodwill, she gets half of the meal. And anyone who doesn't obey goes up in flames. In the beginning it was always tents that were set on fire. But since then, we have become accustomed to the power of the shard. The power of the shard? Hmm. Now that you have it, what are you going to do with the shard? Nothing at all. We worship it. When the sun wants it back, then it will make it light up. So it will light up? That's what the priestess said. And that's why it lies in the shade, yes? Without sunlight it will never light up, and the rule of the priestess will last forever. What's that you're saying? It's a shard from the sun. It doesn't need any sunlight. If it needs to, it will light itself. What do you think of the priestess? She is the only one who knows how to handle the shard. Thanks to her goodness, we don't have to fear the fire anymore. She enjoys our greatest respect. What do you know about Zazura? To search for it is meaningless. The wind alone has the power to reveal the city. The wind? What has that got to do with it? It forms the sand, spins it around, moves dunes and mountains. If you anger it, it will take away your sight of the heavens, and you will never ever find your way back. Goodbye. May the wind always be at your back, stranger. One of the Bedouins, barely recognizable as a woman under that mask. Good lady, can I ask you something? Nothing that I couldn't also answer. Empty. One of those tents that breed here in the desert. Cloth, bags, lanterns, 
pretty well all the things that should be sold by the merchants in Tripoli. It would seem that washing is dried in the same way everywhere. I've got enough clothing, but maybe I can still use that piece of cloth. An altar made of wood, rotten and hung with feathers and bones. Just the right setting for a fake sun fragment. You could polish it back up again. That gives me a rather gleaming idea. Why don't we see if we can help the sun get its shard to light up? Now it's just sandy. Now I've got a metal shield with wet sand. The sand and water make a good abrasive medium. Polished to a shine. This is a good place for the mirror. I just have to find the right angle. The sun's splinter is glowing. Look! Look! Oops! Has the mirror moved? The sun is reclaiming its splinter. No! No! That can't be! That can't be! Damn, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, the poor woman. However, I'm not going to get a better opportunity than this. That's how you do it. Guess what the Nomad Priestess knew? That you dream of Jamila night and day? Ruffy, why don't you just leave it? Why? What he says is true. Oh. Please forgive the interruption. But what did the priestess know? How many key fragments there are in total? Twelve! Twelve? How does she know? Does she come from Zazura too? Yes, but believe me, she isn't very friendly all the same. Then you two must have really hit it off. We've now got three pieces of the key out of twelve. The rest of them we'll simply take from the Grand Inquisitor in that monastery. What's it called again? The Stone Monastery of the Holy Virgin. But what if there are then still some pieces missing? No worries. Our collection will then be complete. Where do you know that from? Because I'm not deaf. Back home in Tripoli, it was long going around that the noble Grand Inquisitor was going crazy over three pieces of crystal. I'd always thought that it was all to do with something that was made of three crystal pieces, but now I know what it was really all about. Then we have exactly the number he has been looking for. Fantastic! If he only knew how close he's been all this time. Then let's do it like Raffi has suggested. Let's go to the monastery and grab the rest. Onward and upward. Just a minute. How are we actually going to get there? Quite simple. We follow the caravan route all the way to the mountains. There, you have to go through an arch of rock. And behind that, the pilgrim trail begins. Then you just follow that. What's all this you? Don't you want to come with us, Honorable Emir? The monastery is easy to reach, and you'll find it easily enough without me. My journey here is at an end. My valued friends, I am turning back. But why? On the search for Zersura, it has become clear to me that I too have a home city for which my heart longs. 
and for which it is worth fighting. Tripoli, I am needed more urgently there than here. Then I thank you for your help. Yes, Emir, many thanks for that. I have you to thank, my dear friends. Live well, Emir. Live well. May the voices in your hearts always guide your step, and may the ground beneath your feet be ever firm. The search for Zizura brought the group directly to the lion's den. They pitched camp close to the monastery where the Grand Inquisitor was allegedly resident. From the distance came the angry rumbling of a gathering storm. Ramon is sleeping. Just as well. The journey has taken its toll on him. Very true. Rocking about on one of those ships of the desert takes it out of anyone, even under normal circumstances. Well, I'd rather ride a thousand times over than have to walk. No. Such a camel ride feels worse than sailing in a sinking ship, in a storm, and under cannon fire. Don't tell me you've already experienced such a thing. Stop bickering and give some careful thought as to how we're going to get into the monastery. You're right. The convict is more important now. I'm just wondering exactly how we're going to get in. Creeping up there wouldn't even work in the dark. There's not one single bush to take cover behind. What if we happen to be nomads, inquiring about a place to rest our heads? Hmm, might work. The monks in the monastery rely on the hospitality of the Bedouins. Otherwise, they'd have been gone long ago. Good. So we're Bedouins then. But not dressed like this. I could maybe pass for a son of the desert, but anyone could see from miles away that you are not from around here. Then let's get wrapped up in desert garments. A camel hair blanket. Nice and soft. Just the thing for my sick brother. Thank you, Fyodor. Luckily, Jamila and Rafi thought of everything when they did the packing. Water uncovers the sea. Interesting stones. Not enough for a hearth. A mat made of palm fibers. So what's it doing here? This definitely has a deeper purpose. I'll just have a feel inside. Hopefully nothing vicious in there. Hmm. Rather a lot of cloth remnants. They ought to do for at least two people. The camel metamorphosis still isn't finished. One small hole is all it takes to turn a bone splinter into a needle. The mat is quite easy to split into fibers. Now I only have to get the camel through the eye of the needle. Do it yourself, wizard. Our cover is ready. Very good. Let's put them on. 
Ramon. We're going to set off for the monastery now. Ramon? Are you awake? Yes. Yes, I'm awake. You want to go now? Exactly. And we'll try and deal with things as fast as we can. Make sure you are successful. You have to find nine pieces, not one less. Of course. Now you look after the other three. No, you can't leave them here. What if the soldiers discover the camp? Ramon is much too weak. You're right. One of us has to stay here with him. No, I don't want that. Better keep the key fragments on you. But we can do it, just the two of us. Yes. Maybe I ought to stay on guard here and... No. What you have to do is much more important than anything else. And you need every man for the task. Even if one's a woman. All right. Then we ought to get going. Yes. Get a move on. It looks like that was once a gate. No one home. Or visitors aren't welcome. Could also be that nobody heard us knocking. The door looks pretty thick. Hello? Is there anybody there? Hello? Locked. There has to be some way of making your presence known. I'll have a look around. Raffi, wait. Perhaps it's better anyway if we split up. Right. Someone should stay outside and keep the way back secure. And what with me being the spare part at this Bedouin wedding? Uh, I suppose it's obvious. Nonsense. If something goes wrong, we're all in this together. That's what it's about. What's wrong with Jamila? Why can't she stay outside? Because I can probably fight better than you two put together. I'm definitely going in there. All right, then. I'll clamber around here a little and see if there's maybe another entrance. And if it's not too much trouble... One that might serve as an exit, too? Thanks, Raffi.